Okay, so now I'll finish my cleaning here uh, underneath here and get some oil and a patch on here making sure that I give this a good oily and cleaning. If I get too much I'm going to use this side, it's just a little white. If I get too much rust off here I might get a little steel wool. Oh man, look at all that. Man, you definitely want to pull this stock off and get underneath here because that is not good. Man, that looks nasty. Um, so, I am going to make sure and give this a good cleaning. Now, I don't see any thing coming off, so I can probably just use another patch with some oil. I'm going to put some of my mystery oil on there since it tends to be a little more um, cleaning versus uh, just, let's see if I get any more off this with this mystery oil. Pretty good brown stuff. Woo! So I really want to get this good because that wood sits on there and sweats and moisture and humidity man I'm glad I pulled that off really really nasty that's what I hate finding on my guns I just hate it so uh, I want to get another clean patch here and do the whole thing with some of this mystery oil on the whole barrel even though I already cleaned this with the go juice, see if this Mr. Oil removes anything else. <laughs> I definitely think the Mr. Oil gets <laughs> better cleaning than uh. <laughs> I was just using the go juice for a, a cleaner kind of thing, but I had already wiped this down with the go juice, and you saw how much I got. And now you're seeing how much more I'm getting. And I don't know if you can tell it, but this bluing just really came alive. Getting that surface rust off. So, uh, it pays to remove your wood. Man, I'm glad I did that. Holy cow, that is a nasty looking patch. This is the stuff that when you look at it, you don't see. And I tell people that all the time. Yeah, I looked at my guns, they look good. What? You can't go by look, people. You have to go by rubbing something clean and white on it so you can actually tell what you're removing. I'm still getting it off. It's like squeaky clean. You hear that squeaking? Man, that's squeaky clean. So, I've had this gun shit, at least six years and I've never obviously pulled the wood off. But boy it sure did bring out the color. on this bluing. I was thinking of putting some tongue oil on this, but it's got such a really nice finish. I don't really want to, don't think I need to mess it up. I might put some uh, oil. Uh, this wood is really good for wood oil. Uh, it, I don't know what it's called. Mahogany finishes. I don't know what's in it, but let me tell you man, it, it makes wood look nice. So I may put some of that on it. I don't know. 
I mean, I got it off. I probably ought to do something since it's off. And now where these screws are going, besides cleaning these screws, I really want to get a Q-tip in there with some mystery oil. And I'm sure this Q-tip is not going to look pretty when it comes out. Oh, shit. Doesn't look that bad at all. Kind of impressed. Wow. That one got a little bit. So then I'm going to put some go juice down there. And both go juice and Mr. Oil did really good in my oil test. So uh, I had gloves on. I don't take stock in freaking gloves, as many gloves as I use. It's like every time I turn around, I'm buying a box of gloves. But, I got a few guns, and I clean them pretty regularly. So, a lot better than the old hands getting all that oil. Alrighty, so man, that... Man, I don't know if you could see how much it like brought the bluing out on this. Really a nice job on that. Um, so I'm going to put some of this oil on this and make sure I get some good lubricant where that stock's at. Because that's what I don't get to. And when you can't get to a spot, when you get to it, you need to make sure that shit's oiled up good. Now this little screw didn't want to come out. Remember that screw I couldn't get out? And it still doesn't want to come out. So I'm going to put some pressure on it while I'm backing it out and see if I can get it out. Because I want to give it a good There it is, I just pushed it real hard out. And it actually is not that rusty. A lot of screws get rusty. That is not that rusty. But, you know what? It's going to have a little go juice on it. Now. So. I'll feel better. And again, this gun is not kept in a safe. It's kept in the house, open to air, moisture, changes, all kind of things. So I don't know if that's a... Um, I want to get inside that little screw there. actually got quite a bit of dirt out of there. Alright, I'll go ahead and get that little screw right there, because that's not clean too much. Got a little rust out of there, even though I didn't see it, but now it's got a good coat of oil. Alrighty, so now that that's off and cleaned, put this wood back on. Oh, you know what? Was I going to do something this wood? I was thinking about putting that. I'll just leave this oiled up. Now that the wood's off. Oh shit, son of a bitch, I turned all the shit. So I need to clean where I had the other back grip off, this area right here. Get a patch on that. Try some mystery oil. See if I get any... Nope. Isn't that funny? No discoloration. Wow. No browning. So, 
that tells me that I've been keeping this part pretty good oiled and I'm not getting a lot of surface rust in there so that's good And now I'll get a Q-tip with some oil. And I'll decide whether or not I'm going to do anything with that wood. Now I did get some rust off the inside of here. That's where I'm getting quite a bit of rust because this is usually unblued and not real finished. So you have to be pretty diligent on this area. And depending how much you shoot, sometimes you'll get some blowback in this trigger area. which I did. Alrighty, I'm a... I don't think I'm going to put anything on that wood. I, I kind of like the way that wood looks kind of factory, so I'm going to leave that alone. We'll just put this bad boy back together. So this is that front little swivel got some oil on it these go into the wood so this part rusting because it's in the wood isn't that bad it's the uh, little threads in the back alrighty so that sits there We will go ahead and put this one back on. I always reverse thread till I hear a click. Sometimes I don't hear it, I feel it. This one is not. I'm not feeling it. So I'm pulling this stock off a little bit to let this screw get down there. There, I think I got it. Nope. Damn. Put some hair around that hole. I cannot get that sucker in there. Let's see what the angle is on this bad boy. So what I'm checking now is to see the angle, so once I get the wood on there, I'm going to try and match that. Since it goes in, if you hit it right, you've got to get it at the right angle. Well, when you get it in that hole, it goes right in there. Well, for some reason, I can't get it started. How's my battery life doing?
I get it? No, I didn't. Man, that little sucker is hard to get in there. Wow. I can't even fill the hole. Because there's no way to move the wood. That wood fits on there just so... I thought it was leaning a little back when I took it out. There we go. It was. Oh, maybe not. Shit! All right, I gotta look at it again. Damn it. So that is the angle. So I'm gonna get a position to where it's right in the center of that. I'm gonna stay in the same position, take it off, and then when I put the wood on, it should be right about there. Really? I mean, that is the angle right there. Yes! Woo! Man, that was tough. That was not playing. All right. And this is the, the, the most part that breaks on these stocks because they made it really thin here. So this really fractures right here on almost all stocks. Okay, so that was back in. I'll put my little cover here. I forgot which way it went. Was it Rossi to the front or Rossi to the rear? Shit, I don't know. Must have been Rossi to the rear because that's the way it's going back on. Rick, you should go. Whatever. Damn, video's going to be two hours long. So I don't want to put that all the way tight until I get this one in. Make sure it's straight. So it's got, it can move around and level itself out. All right. So the rear is on. Let's get that front piece back on. And we should be good to go. Now I was hoping to be able to push this, but I'm going to have to wiggle it back and forth and rock it on there. It's tight. So I'm going to put this back on here so I don't dip my wood. So this doesn't look that good. Let me get a big old rubber mallet here. One tap should be able to fix that. Oh yeah. There we go. Now it's going to be on there. Now I'll let my screws do the rest of the uh, seating down. Oh, I want to back that out. That didn't feel right when I screwed. There we go. Oh, it just gets tight, so it doesn't matter. All right. That's on.
There we go. Hear that click? That was a good solid click. Oh yeah. Nice. Man, that, that sucker's on there. Woo, doggies. Alrighty. Put a little oil all over this just on the top of the coat here. My gloves, make sure I got everything good and oiled that's exposed. I didn't get a Q-tip down inside that trigger well area. Anytime you're cleaning a revolver, you want to get in this uh in your trigger area. Looks pretty clean. Oh shit, that just shot out. And I also did not get inside these cracks. Very important on revolvers. Around this cylinder and where these anywhere you got a corner crack. Alrighty, bad boy's good to go. Drop some little lead vitamins in it. Oh, didn't want that to close. Got the little five shots in it. Close that up. It's good to go. Cleaning the Rossi. Getting that damn rail off there was no joke. Alrighty. Hope uh hope somebody gets something out of getting that off, because that was I was seriously kind of like, you gotta be kidding me, that's gotta come off. And I just didn't want to force it. And I searched for YouTube videos, I searched on Google, I searched replacing absolutely not one video. Not one article, nothing. There was like four questions. How do you get the foreign off? Nobody answered. So I like finding things that I can't find, and now I can post it, and then someone else can hopefully find it and help them out. All righty. Rossi, circuit judge. Right there, circuit judge. It's got nice little sights on it. You guys see those sights? I like the little sights on it. You can put a scope on it. And a uh, nice little rifle. Alrighty. Cleaning up my area as I go. I don't like having dirty areas. I don't know if you guys can tell that or not. <laughs> but I'm out of freaking Q-tips for sure. And uh, all this rusty patches. Wow. Wow, wow. Ouch. Man, I hate seeing this when I clean a gun. But, I'm happy to find it now and not later. Um, hang up my little plastic thing back up. Because I might need that again for something else. We are good to go. Gloves off, finally. The Rossi. Circuit Judge. Hope y'all got something out of that bad boy. What do y'all think, man? Tell me in the comments. Should I put some different wood on there or uh, coat that wood with something? Um, I think the wood looks pretty good. Did that circuit judge come out? Can y'all read that? Where's that at? I thought it was right around there. Yeah, I can't get it. All right, we'll end it there. Damn lights.